And welcome back on this election eve. Aton Wallace here in the 17 News Center. We just heard from current Democratic Party Chairman Christian Romo. So now we are turning to the other side of the aisle and joining us live in studio, Mr. Jesse Rojas. Thanks for being here tonight, Mr. Rojas. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the invitation again. Of course, and I just want to go over a little bit of your bio before we get into some questions here. Mr. Rojas is the CEO of the Red Group. That is a business and political consulting firm based here in the Valley. His resume includes work with the late Mark Abernathy, someone that Mr. Rojas considered a mentor. So there you go. I, I appreciate the time. And let me get right, you know, right away. You're, you're, you're wearing a Trump Keep America Great hat. You have the Trump 2020 uh, pin there. You're clearly, um, clearly de decided who you're going to vote for this election. So with that in mind, I want to ask you, how are you in the Republican Party, in Kern County in particular, feeling going into November 3rd? Well, first of all, I just want to say this is my very first election that I was able to vote for as a citizen. Congratulations. Just, thank you. I just became a citizen last year and it's the proud, one of the proudest moments in my life after becoming a father. That is and, amazing. And yes, of course, I'm very proud that I got to vote for President Trump. It's my very first election. I'm a, very, I'm a first generation Mexican immigrant. I came to Delano, California with my parents when I was 11 years old from uh, Colima, Mexico. In fact, 99% uh, of my family still lives in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Spanish is my first language. And I'll, although that does not really fit the narrative of a Hispanic immigrant who supports Republicans, I wasn't always Republican like a lot of individuals. Being young, you don't know better. I used to come home you know, from uh, school seeing my father watching Univision Jorge Ramos every single <laughs> afternoon. And he would say, mijo, we're finally going to get immigration reform. We had to battle through the complex immigration system and, and spend thousands of dollars in attorneys to try to become a citizen with me and my mother. And you know, I, I go back to something very simple that Donald Trump said. Who built the cages? That's a question that Joe Biden hasn't answered. Why did Obama deport the most amount of immigrants? Why didn't he do anything about immigration reform when he controlled the House and the Senate? Well, I learned that down the road when I got involved in politics, the reality. They just use an emotional attachment to try to get something every two or four years from us. So I'm very excited about tomorrow, like a lot of Republicans. I am 100% confident it's going to be a complete red tsunami. And it's going to be a bigger landslide for Donald Trump. I am confident we're going to get the House back and we're going to remain and keep the Senate. Very interesting to hear that. So, so you, you have a lot of uh, excitement, a lot of confidence going into the election. You know, you bring up the House. We're showing pictures now of President Trump on screen. We talked to Mr. Romo about the top of the ticket. Very important what happens at the White House, what happens in Washington. But what about the down ballot races? You're feeling confident about that as well? And, and are those just as important here? They're just as important, especially in California, obviously. Um, I do agree that a lot of times we overlook uh, local politics, and it's just, if not more important. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing to see a lot of my friends from high school and college that, you know, they, they have no idea what the propositions, for example, really stand about. And then when I used to tell them, you know, about, for example, saving Uber, Lyft, and independent contractors, they had no idea what they were voting for. Um, you look at school boards. I mean, By especially the way, if you have you're talking kids. about Prop 22, just to, to clarify. Absolutely. Prop 20, sorry, but go on. I don't mean to interrupt. Just Prop 22. Reason. You know, yep. in, even individuals yep. that uh, have been voting for many years, they didn't realize when they read that one paragraph in the ballot that Proposition 22 is a good thing. That it's actually, for once, you should vote yes on a proposition in California. That it's actually not going to raise more taxes. So, absolutely, I do believe that more individuals should get more involved in local politics. They affect us perhaps even more than mm. national politics. But right now we're focused on the presidential election. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you look at the sizes of Trump's rallies. Over 50,000 people lined up for one of his latest rallies. I believe it's in Pennsylvania. I mean, You're Joe Biden. Right here. Yeah, look at all those people, yeah. Joe Biden, he has five, six circles, social distancing. He can't even really fill those up. And he can't even remember where he's at. So, so now we have a lot to talk about those rallies. I'd love if we had more time to chat about social distancing in general. We don't have time to do that. But I want to ask you as well, quickly, because you're talking about local politics here in Kern County, how have you felt about the local uh, vote by mail process from a Republican standpoint? I believe we have a great turnout, even though notoriously Democrats always are a lot better at uh, engaging individuals to vote early in the election. Now, it's no secret, you look at a lot of the Project Veritas videos that they've exposed a lot of the ballot harvesting and the corruption, the voter fraud, which by the way, I used to do a voter fraud investigation. I did some when Leticia Perez ran against Andy Vidak, and I saw it at the door in the apartments in Delano and Arvin and Lamont, where it is true, there are some people that are not that alive that still vote, 
and people that are promised certain gift cards or things to vote. It is true. I right, saw myself. Even 17 News has done an investigation showing it's not widespread, right? And we only have about 20 seconds or so. Before that, I want to give you one final option, though, for, for, to address the voters. From a Republican standpoint, what is your message to the voters going into November 3rd? Remember what's really at stake here. It is corruption from the leftist party, a, a party of lies, cheating, deception, who does not care about America. And at this point, it's all about America first. And, and that's what you should be voting about. Just remember, no one's telling you about the Hunter laptop and all the corruption. You know, you thought Hillary Clinton and her family were crooked and corrupt. Well, Joe Biden and his family are giving her a run for her money. So vote for freedom, vote for life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness and for the Constitution. And this is the greatest country in the world that allows people like me to pursue the American dream. And we need to keep that. All righty, Mr. Jesse Rojas, thanks for so much for taking the time.